Jennifer and Georgia, Olivia's mum and sister, join us now. Great to see both of you, along with Dan, who's a super fan, who'll keep me right. But I just wonder, what is it like to see your daughter in there? Is it really strange? Because I imagine you're, you're um, watching it. Yes, we haven't spoken to her for probably six or seven weeks. I actually lose track of time. So, yeah, it's difficult to watch her, yeah. And she's, not, she's not had a... a a smooth ride, let's say. No, that's true. The girl yeah. that you're seeing on screen, is that the girl you know? Uh, not really. No? No. Um, so is she, do you think she's, she's playing a big game or something? No, she's no. not playing no. a game. I think it's um, well edited. Right. It's, it's obviously they're creating a, a wonderful show and it is fantastic, so I have no criticisms of that. But I think that, um, well, I know that Olivia is a very loving girl with very strong family values, very close to all her family. And probably one of the kindest people I know, and that does not that does not come across, and that's upsetting. Well, as a mum watching that, that must be very upsetting. Yeah. And as Dan has said, you know, they are they're, they're actually having sex. I mean, that like you think, oh no. Well, I haven't actually. You know, she's probably one of the last ones to do anything physical. Right. And her and Chris have had a roller coaster of a, of a relationship, and it was bound to happen at some point if they remain together. Right. It's natural. She's 26 it's going to happen. Mm. They've been in there a long time. And there is a spark between them. You can see it. You can, you can, you, I know, I know. I've, I'm watching her. I read her body language. There's definitely something real there. Right. Do you think yeah. so? And I, how would I you really feel if she brought him home for tea? I think he's lovely. Yeah, I think, you're he's, okay I think he's absolutely charming. Absolutely. I think he's a fantastic role model for young boys and young men. Yeah, he's a gentleman. So you'd be okay with that? You would absolutely be fine. What's it like watching your sister in there? Yeah, it's been um, it's been really weird. I think, like my mum says, you know, she comes across um, in some ways so similar to how she is at home. Um, I think, especially, she's been really entertaining, really funny. Um, she genuinely is hilarious. Like that's not not just yeah. how she is on the show. Yeah. Um, she is the sort of person at home, you know, around the dinner table. She will have everyone absolutely cracking up. So I'm really glad that's coming across. Yeah, because that's like a really lovely part of her personality. Now look, you're gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I would imagine that say, the producers of Love Island are sitting there looking at you and thinking, ha ha ha, we'll send you up for next year. How would you feel about being asked to go in? <laughs> um, I don't think that's on the cards, I'm afraid. No, no I think... Been with my boyfriend yeah, no, he'd have no, a long no, time. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Can I do that to mum? Can I just say no. you years in a row. I would agree with you, Dan. So, look, what do you think about what's going on here? Well, look, I think it's very interesting because for the first time last night, we maybe got to see the softer side of Olivia and mm. probably about time I'm sure you guys you guys think because she yeah. obviously had this heart to heart with Chris and maybe explained a little bit about some of the harder sides of her that we'd been seeing and guys she did seem to hint at maybe being burned in previous relationships is, is that something that you're aware of because she spoke about how close She's, she was to her family yeah, but, but I think she, I could it, probably come in there she yeah. she um has had loyalty issues from partners mm -hmm. in the past, particularly recently. So um, as in they would cheat on her? Or? Um, I think it has happened. Yeah. Um, she's a very loyal person. She's ha actually happier in um, a more permanent relationship. Mm -hmm. um, she doesn't flit around between boys. Mm. And I'm not criticising her past partners. I actually was still in touch with both of them. Mm. And they, they phone me from time to time, and we actually adore both of them. Mm. But for Olivia, it didn't work. Mm. Why did she go in the show in the first place? She, well, she was asked last year, oh, but yeah. she was only six months after ending a long relationship, and right. she wasn't in the right frame of mind. And I think it was the right decision. Um, she... I think she did it for the experience. I think she just thought it would be a hell of a laugh. And I think when she comes out, she's going to say she had the time of her life. You think? Oh, I definitely do. Even though you might, she might have had an upsetting time in parts, right. she would have absolutely loved it. And what do you think yeah. she wants out of it? Obviously, she does have a vivacious personality. She yeah. looks incredible. Now one of the most talked about people in the country. I mean, yeah. do you think she wants a showbiz career? I think she does. Yeah, I think, and I think she's well suited to it. She, as George has hinted, she is absolutely hilarious. Her mind works so yeah. quick. She just comes out with, she just looks at situations and people and just flips it and will just, you know, um, yeah, I think, I think it, it, we also need to address this issue of why did she go in? Because people mm. are saying she went after the mm. prize money. Well, if she did, she's not played a very clever game. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, if you want the prize money, you, you latch onto a couple, you make it believable, <laughs> and you keep your head down. And that's not what she's done. Yeah, she's not made it easy for herself. <laughs> no, I know it's easy for yeah. you guys to watch as well. No. I bet you can't wait to get her home. No, I yeah, can't wait to see her. Yeah. yeah. And get all the, get all the stories. <laughs> guys, thanks so much. One more week. One more week.